What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John Plays here, and today we're going over every single exclusive Pokemon to Pokemon Sword and to Pokemon Shield. Hey, uh, real talk here for a second. There's a good chance that this video came up recommended for you and you're part of the 67.2% of people who are not subscribed to my channel. Why? If I'm recommended to you and you enjoy my videos, do me a favor, just hit the subscribe button. It's not gonna change how much I show up in your algorithm. It's just gonna look better in my number and make me feel appreciated. Let's me know that you enjoy the content I make. Anyways, on with the video. Big shout out to Cerebi.net for compiling all of this information. If you wanna see it for yourself, you're more than welcome to go on there. I'm gonna be going over the current listing of all the exclusive Pokemon. It is in Pokedex order. So toward the beginning, we may see Gigantamax forms that you may have not seen already. I mean, you can potentially be spoiled by this video from seeing Pokemon forms and new Pokemon that you have not seen before. However, if you want to know all of the Pokemon exclusive between these two versions, this is, as I've seen so far, the most complete list. First and foremost, anytime that you see any Gigantamax raid battle Pokemon, that means that it can spawn naturally only in one version of the game, either Sword or Shield. It can only spawn natively in Sword. However, if on your friends list you have three people who are playing Shield, they can join in your max raid battle and catch this Gigantamax Machamp and therefore have that Pokemon. It is important to note that Machamp is not version exclusive. You can have that in either copy of the game. You can catch him in the wild. You don't even have to trade him a choke, but this Gigantamax Machamp will only be in Pokemon Sword. Galarian Farfetch'd and Galarian Farfetch's regional evolution Surfetch are exclusive to Pokemon Sword. The Seedot evolutionary line, Mawile, Lunatone, the red striped form of Basculin, Darumaka's new Galarian form and Galarian evolution, Scraggy and Scrafty, Gothrita's evolutionary line, Rufflet's evolutionary line, Dieno's evolutionary line, Swirlix's evolutionary line, Passimian, Turtonator, Jangmoo's evolutionary line. Now it is important to note that Jangmoo and Larvitar are going to be kind of version exclusive. If you do purchase the double pack, there are special Dynamax crystals codes that you get with the double pack. Jangmo is exclusive to Pokemon Sword. However, you can use that code in Pokemon Shield to summon a max raid battle for you to catch it and vice versa for you to be in Pokemon Sword and catch Larvitar, which is the Pokemon Shield exclusive. Got it? Colossal's Gigantamax Raid Battle is only available natively in Pokemon Sword. There is a new Pokemon called Applin, and Applin has two different evolutions. The item, in order for you to evolve it, is exclusive to Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Those items being the Tart Apple and the Sweet Apple. So for Flapple, the item to evolve the Pokemon is only available in Sword. However, you can trade the item from Shield to Sword and evolve your Flapple into the Shield exclusive. There is a Gigantamax raid battle natively to only Sword, but again, can be shared. We covered Surfetched. A new Pokemon, Stoljurner, is only available in Pokemon Sword. The male version of Indeedee is only available in Pokemon Sword. And of course, your box legendary Zycian, the official sword form and the unemployed form. Pokemon exclusive to Pokemon Shield, you have Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Rapidash. Gengar's Gigantamax form, which again, can be shared from Shield to Sword players. Lapras's Gigantamax form can be shared. Corsola's new Galarian form and Galarian evolution. Cursola, creative name. Larvitar's evolution form, which I covered before with the Dynamax crystals. Lotad and its evolutionary line. Sableye, Solrock, Krogunk's evolutionary line. Basculin's blue striped form. Solosis's evolutionary line. Vullaby's, Spritzy, Gumi's evolutionary line. Orangaroo, Drampa, Apple Tun, the item to evolve Applin into Appleton is only available in Shield, but again, you can trade the sword item, the Tart Apple, to Shield to evolve it. It says that there's a different Appleton Gigantamax form that's only available in Shield, but the sprite looks exactly the same, so I'm a little confused. I don't know, maybe the Gigantamax of Appleton and of Flapple are the same Gigantamax form. We covered Cursula. Ice Q? Oh, I get it. There's a new 
Pokemon called Ice Q. It's essentially a penguin with a giant ice cube on its head, and it works similar to Disguise, its ability. However, the ice cube can come back in the hail. In DD's female form and Zamazenta, both its official dotted out sword form and its unemployed form. This may be one of the most extensive lists of exclusive Pokemon that I have ever seen in a Pokemon game, including all of the Gigantamax forms, the different evolutionary lines, like there is a hefty amount here. And it seems like this game is really pushing you toward communicating with people and friends, either real life friends or internet friends or just buying two copies of the game. And honestly, this seems nice. It, I'd like to believe that they're going for more of a live services game that updates regularly, which is going to be really refreshing for the Pokemon series. Do keep in mind that we do not have the GTS, the Global Trade System, which was present in Pokemon X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Sun Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and I say good riddance, because I'm not going to trade you my legendary Pokemon for your level 2 Rattata. Also, the GTS was just literally covered in hacked Pokemon, which that in and of itself is not good. It's not a good look for the GTS. It wasn't monitored. It wasn't, there was no eye kept on it or anything. You weren't, uh, and then like legendaries and mythicals were just so sought after that it was a completely broken ecosystem. So removing it and only doing person to person trades via locally, randomly, codes, or surprise trades, similar to uh, what we saw in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, seems like a nice refreshing thing. Now, if you don't know anyone in real life that has the other version of the game that you're picking up and you do not have the double pack, I do have a Discord that I have for community trades and especially going to be for um, version exclusive Pokemon. If you do join my Discord, I ask you to be respectful. It's a family friendly Discord, no spam. We have a lot of moderators in there. Shout out to my moderators who do an absolutely fantastic job anytime that I can be in there to keep people in order. So guys, if you found this video helpful or informative, do me a favor, hit a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.